What's going on guys? The Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial. Today's cut underneath all this hair guys we are going to do a high fade in the temple area and a mid fade in the back. Let's get right to it. So we're going to start things off with the wall premium one and a half guard. Knocking down the area just below the curls up top. Going with the growth of the hair down. And then I'm going to come in behind that. We're going to use a comb to really push those curls at the top up out of the way. And we're going to use the two guard in the Andes purple set. And this is my cordless senior modified with my Andes master blade. I've got it closed and we're just really cleaning up the sides so that we can get ready for this taper. And you're going to notice, like I said, I'm using the comb a lot in this cut to push the hair out of the way up top so that we don't get into it. That's the last thing that we want to do. Make sure you take your time. I've got this sped up quite a bit because this took me a while. I wanted to be real precise with it and, and make sure that we didn't sacrifice any of this hair up top. Hey, how about this banger of a beat, guys? I told my guy Jamin this is my favorite one he's given me so far. I'm going to shout him out. It's at Jamin Lee, J-V-M-I-N-L-E-E. -E. Beats by Jamin Lee. Killed it with this one. I appreciate it, Jamin. So now that we've cleaned the sides up with the two guard, I'm going to comb the hair back down into place and get right into this taper. We're going to start things off with my gold Babless FX trimmers. These are my hitters. I'm going to set my bald line in from the bottom of his vertical bar in his lineup to the top of his ear at a slight angle. Scoop that out. Come in with my backed up trimmers here. Flick at that bottom line just to knock that out. It's going to soften that line up. Come in behind that with an open no guard. And this is my cordless senior modified with the Andy's Master Blade. I'm going to close that up, buff that bottom line out there. We're going to use an open one guard. Flick up into that two that we've did all along the sides. Clean up just below that with the zero guard. And then we're gonna take the guard off. Just use corners, open it and close it. Pinpoint in dark areas, dark spots that we wanna knock out. So as you can see, it's still dark there at the top from the two guard that we've did and the one open just didn't quite you know blend it out so I came back in with the closed one and a half I'm gonna lighten that up a little bit more and then we'll go into his vertical around his ear all right so let's get into his lineup around his ear this is his left ear so we're gonna use the right side of our blade on our Babylus FX. Not the whole blade because this is a curved line. We're doing a semi-circle here. You can't use that full flat blade to do a circle. That's not how it works. So use just the corner. Make sure you comb the hair and over direct it past the line. That way, regardless if his hair gets brushed forward or brushed over the line, there's no hairs that will be extended over it. That, may, that way this line stays uh, as sharp as it can be. Continue that line down the neckline, keeping everything natural. And then we're going to go into the taper on the other side. And it's just like a mirror, guys. What you do to one side, you do it to the other side. So we come in with our gold Babylus FX trimmer, set that bald line in from the bottom of the vertical bar on the lineup to the top of his ear, kind of at an angle there. Scoop that out, use the shaver below that, take it all the way down the skin. Flick at that line with the backed off trimmer that I have. We're gonna do an open no guard, close it up, take that bottom line out again. Open one guard here up into the weight from the two guard that we did earlier. Close it up there. Right in the middle, we're gonna do an open zero, close it up. And then to really blend it the rest of the way out, I'm going to take the guard off, open the lever up, and then we're just going to open and close the lever 
hidden dark spots that we notice in the fade and it'll all come together. Just like the other side, the one open just didn't quite blend up into the two, so we took a one and a half with the wall premium guards, closed it up, lightened that up a little bit, and then we're gonna get into his vertical around this ear here, and then we'll head into the back taper. So we're on the right ear, so we're gonna use the left side of our blade, same thing, comb the hair over the line, over direct it, you know, use that left side of the blade, angle it around the ear, give it a nice semicircle, and then continue that line on down the neckline. And then let's get right into this back taper. Same steps, guys. Bald line at the bottom. I did not use a shaver. Uh, just the neckline seemed to be a little more sensitive for people, so I didn't use that. But we came in with the backed up trimmer. We flicked at that, took the bottom line out. We're gonna set in an open section here with a no guard. And this is a little bit bigger than in the temple area just because this surface area is a bigger place to work with so we made that section a little bit bigger closed it up buffing that bottom line out we're going to take the open one take it pretty high up there most of the way close it just below that and then meet right there in the middle with the open zero close it up and then hit those dark spots with the open no guard open and closing the lever just using the corners of our blade a lot of corner work you'll see me use uh, if you've watched any of my videos it's a really good technique to be able to not put in another line by using the entire blade but also take out the dark spot that you're missing or that you're leaving there uh, and not sacrifice putting in a whole other line just just to take out one spot So finishing everything up on the sides, I've gone back to the one and a half again, connecting the temple area and the neck area here. And this is something that I'm gonna to try to take away from this haircut and remember for next time, cause he is a regular of mine. I might skip the two guard to start the haircut next time and just go straight to the one and a half. It seems like I've had to do that everywhere uh, on this cut so far. So something you guys can take away from that. Uh, you know, if you cut people on the regular, Pay attention to if you end up skipping guards or if you can get away with guards that you don't necessarily have to use. You can cut those steps out, save yourself some time, and still come out with a good result. Right here, I'm still trying to decide whether or not I would have gone back now and left this darker to give off a uh, more of a contrasting color. Y'all let me know in the comment section if you think I should have left this or you know, if I had, you know, good reason to come back in and clean this up and take this a little bit lighter than what I had it. So it's time to get into the lineup. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I go hard on these lineups. I take a lot of pride in these. Spritz some hairspray on it combing the hair down, locking it in place so that when we come in with the trimmers, everything's set where it needs to be and the hair's not moving all over the place. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out to the corner. Pick a spot out on his eye that works with his natural corner. That way I can line that same spot up on the opposite side. We'll come back to the middle, work our way across, find that same reference point on this side here. Flip the trimmer around, hit that vertical going down. Same spot on his eye for both sides, keeping it symmetrical. And then we're gonna get into some razor work. My man's in high school now, and so I always forget until he reminds me. We always line his mustache up, gotta keep this thing fresh. So 
we're going to start the razor work up by using the Barber Magic Pencil, outlining the lineup itself, and then we're going to use our exposed blade razor. Stretch the skin tight, hold the razor at a 45 degree angle and bring it back to the line. Uh, I took that tip straight from Beam. Uh, get beamed if you guys don't follow him. You've been under a rock. I don't know where you've been. And then I'm going to use the Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card. Guys, this is the best color enhancement card on the market. If you do any type of enhancements at all, stop using business cards. Go to the link in the description of this video. Pick one of those up. It's SeanCutsHair.com. This has the 90 degree angle for the corners. It's got the curve for the beards. No more wasting money using business cards. Use the Tune 45 No Drip with this and it's a perfect combination. We're just darkening that spot up there where we pulled the, the hair up tight. And there you have it guys, it's the final product. This is a highball taper or a no seat taper, just depends on what part of the country you're in. I think it turned out extra crispy, the fade turned out good, I was happy with the blend. We didn't touch the top, he's letting that go, we'll see where he can get it. Until next time guys, I really appreciate the love and support for the channel, it's grown so much in the last, I mean I've only been doing it two weeks, but you guys have jumped on and really helped me grow this channel fast. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, hit that notification bell, share it, subscribe. Until next time guys, I appreciate it.